You right there? It's uh, Acer here from Romany Custom Catapults. I need a shave. I'm looking quite rough. Anyway, I'm here to show you the latest creation. Now, it looks at first glance like a Maxim from Nathan Masters at Simple Shop. And originally it was based on that. But a lot of the dimensions have changed. In fact, every dimension has changed. The inside here, the forks, the gap how I've done the swell, everything's different, so it just resembles it, but it is completely different. I've scaled this in Makata, uh, linen Makata, it's the best quality linen Makata I've ever seen. It's a nightmare to cut, it's worse than G10, but I've got through it. Now what I've done, I don't know if you can see on here, normally when I do a frame like this, I'll, uh, I'll take the grain or whichever way the pattern's going and take it vertical. So I've got a bit of OCD, I like things to be level, but on this to add a little bit of uh, depth and contrast or whichever word you might want to use, I've angled it. So this side's going across over here, palm side's going that way. And the same on this side. I don't know if you can see it, it's hard to see, but yeah. And I've done the same with the mosaics. I put them at an angle just to make them different. Uh, I've also, the core is not central to the frame. As you can see, we've got quarter inch one side, and we've got uh, one eighth the other. So it's different, which I think it's just anything to be a little bit different, I think is good. The colors all contrast really well. Olive drab green, red, and the orange G10 liners. A couple of mosaics in there. The overall thickness here is about 14 mil, nice and thin. Also, the customer who's actually on my team requested that the tips fall off. Uh, he didn't want it touching as much, he wanted less friction, so they fall off and it's just shaped in the one side. The palm swell is shaped for holding it on that one side, as you can see it's different shaped. It cuts right in here and it tends to, if, it's hard to see, but it, it slips right into that groove in your hand there really well. Adds a nice weight to the bottom of the frame as well, anchors it really well. Uh, the bottom pin is carbon fibre lined with brass. But yeah, it's a bit different. If I'm honest, I'm not a massive fan of making symmetrical frames. Not when I'm having to cut the core by hand. It's got a 3mm alley core on this one. Uh, they're a nightmare to get spot on and you tend to chip away here and there and whatnot. I much prefer ergo grip uh, precision hold frames. But... I'm really liking this Makata, it makes a change from the G10, and if I'm honest, I prefer it to the G10, it's harder to work, but it's got more depth to it, it's got more character, and it's kind of grippy, this has been sanded up to 2,500 grit, that, I hope you all like it, and I'll be back soon with the next build, cheers all and thanks for watching.